We also think it goes beyond that, which is why we want to call attention to the issue. Um, lost in a lot of the stories and discussion of illicit trade um, are the results of it, where the money, where the, where the results and the fruits of illicit trade goes. And for the most part, it goes to financing transnational organized crime and international terrorist organizations. We think this is a very important point um, and should be one of the motivating factors for combating all forms of illicit trade, be it IP infringing goods, human trafficking, drugs, small arms, and, and all the other forms. So that was sort of, that was our motivating factor. We don't want to downplay the impact of IP infringing goods on, on, on brands, but uh, we think there's a larger story that needs to be told around, uh, around illicit trade. Um, I'll talk briefly about the structure of the index and then go into the results for Serbia, Bosnia, and Montenegro. The reason we created an index was that uh, when we were initially approached to do research on this topic, we were asked to um, create econometric uh, estimates of the size of illicit trade flows, not only in Asia, but around the world. A little more context, uh, in Europe, uh, this is where Serbia you know, go out and label this something else as with a different country of origin. This makes it very different. Um, and then the other, the, the third point, or the third 